Hi, I'm Chase Murray. And I'm Jody Bass. And, and this, this is Pirate Plug. Plug. Last weekend, varsity wrestlers went to state competition. Grant Whitaker and Gabe Ramboa placed second in state. Charlie Pummel and Dalton Williams also competed in both placed for fourth. Grant Whitaker, Charlie Pummel made first team for NCMC. For second team, there was Gabe Ramboa. Now here's a, an interview with Austin Dugan. I'm Austin Dugan here with Grant Whitaker. So where did you place in the wrestling state? I got second in state. And how did you feel about that? Uh, I feel like I could have gone farther at first, but I was unsuccessful with that, so I wasn't too happy about that. So, how much pressure was there on you when doing this? Uh, I don't know. There, there were a lot of expectations to win state. Uh, the kid beat me before, so I was like, all right, gotta step up. And everybody wanted to see me there, you know, being a freshman against the senior. Well, thank you. That's you guys. Thanks, Austin. Northern Boys Basketball have districts all week at Cold Camp. Also, it's FFA week. On Monday, girls varsity basketball won 81-28 against for sales. Spanish won, watched a movie. Austin interviewed one of the students. I'm Austin Dugan. I'm here with Scout Copeland talking about the movie that they watched in Spanish class. So tell us about that movie. So it's about an Mexican-American girl named Selena, and she becomes a famous singer by learning to sing in both languages, so she, she is popular in both cultures. And how did this help you learn Spanish? Well, the subtitles helped us to see how, like, Spanish speaking, like, how people speak in Spanish and, like, sentences are laid out, and it also helped us to, like, describe people's personalities and looks through the Spanish language. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Austin. Boys varsity basketball was canceled on Tuesday and pushed back to Wednesday against Cole Camp. Also on Tuesday, a JROTC meeting was held along with an FFA meeting. On Wednesday, varsity boys basketball won the first round of districts against Cole Camp with a score of 58 to 45. Also, there was a Stuco meeting and Pirate Pride Awards were given out. Austin interviewed Miss Duncan about it. Hey, I'm Austin Dugan here with Miss Duncan talking about Pirate Pride. So, what would you say Pirate Pride means for the students? It's actually a really big honor because not everybody will get one, but the teachers are given the option to give out an award to someone that they think is doing something really, really well. They either have a great attitude or they have a like a really great amount of effort that they see them put forth. So. We give it out for a lot of different reasons. It's not like the sporting awards or honor roll. This is something that someone gets chosen for above and beyond those. Can you tell us about what's going to be happening tonight with Pirate Pride? Sure. We will do the Pirate Pride Awards today at 3 o'clock. I've got 11 different teachers that will be handing out certificates and t-shirts to students. Each teacher gets, um, twice a year they get the opportunity to give an award. So it's a really big deal and they really struggle with it to make sure that every kid that earns it is really deserving. Okay, thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Austin. Thursday night, FFA got together for game night and a movie. All day Friday, FFA was a Western Farm show and a character ed was held during pirate time. Austin got an interview with Gracie Imhoff on what the Western Farm Show will be like. I'm Austin Dugan here with Gracie Imhoff and we're talking about the FFA Farm Show that's going to be happening on Friday. So what is the Farm Show? The Farm Show is basically where a bunch of FFA kids get to meet and it has different tractors and ag related things. And what are you most excited to see there? Um, I'm excited to see like the tractors and getting to meet new people from different places of Missouri. Okay, thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you, Austin. I'm Jody Bass. And I'm Chase Murray. Thanks for watching Pirate Club.